<laughs> there we go. When I'm working with the students here at the University of Kansas and meeting new Jewish students every day, I see the search for meaning that they have in this stage in their life and the excitement to learn that they have when they come to Chabad and they get more involved. It reminds me of myself 10 years ago. When I was in high school, in my Hebrew school classes, it got to a point where I felt like I didn't really fit in. My Yiddishkeit was surrounding me, but it wasn't really, really deep within me. I was looking for something deeper to get involved in with Judaism. My parents at that point had already been involved with going to the Chabad of Camarillo with Rabbi Aryeh and Leah Lang. There was one Shabbos that I actually decided to go with them. When I was there, Rabbi Lang actually told me that there's a Sitin chapter opening up in the Kaneo Valley called the Sitin of Kaneo. I went to the kickoff event. I absolutely loved it. Everyone welcomed me in with open arms. The warmth, the light of Chabad, it was exactly what I needed. Hey guys, Tanya here. So Shabbat is coming up. Shabbat is time to take a break from everything and get some much needed chill time. When I was in C teen, I got to experience the International Shabbaton in Crown Heights and specifically the Havdalah in Times Square, let's say Shabbos. And it was just the most incredible, unbelievable experience in my life. So much Jewish pride and excitement for being Jewish and the fact that the billboards in Times Square get taken over by videos of the Rebbe and videos of Sitin and we got to see our faces on the big screens in Times Square. It was just the most surreal, unbelievable experience. I was getting to truth of Yiddishkeit, of Torah. It really felt like true MS. I actually attended the C-Teen Leadership Retreat in Pennsylvania, and at that retreat, they brought Rabbi Yassi and Manya Lazarov to talk about Jewish life on a college campus. I loved the very Texas vibe that they had. Manya has this big personality. I needed to go visit the campus to see if I would connect with the campus as much as I connected with the Shluchim. I went to visit Texas A&M and fell in love. The students were so warm and welcoming. I just loved the atmosphere. I knew that Chabad on campus would be my homeboy from home, but little did I know how much. <laughs> I immediately got involved in all of the classes I could get my hands on. Immediately took Sinai Scholars my first semester. I was involved as much as I could, basically. Got to learn and see what is Yiddishkeit, what our purpose is here on this earth, and what we're meant to be doing. I immediately felt this unbelievable feeling of, this is what I'm meant to be doing. The only thing missing was just actually doing it. Within that first semester of college, I had already started keeping Shabbos and dressing Tznias. Every time I went to Chabad, there, there was always something to learn and always something going on that I could be involved in. I was learning by being at Chabad. The fact that I connected so much with my shlucha, I was getting such an immersive environment by just being at Texas A&M Chabad. I called my mother. I told her that I want to start keeping kosher. Her response to me was, okay, so then we're koshering the kitchen. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much. But you don't have to go crazy. I'm just gonna ease into it and go slow. And she said, Talia, I know you. You're gonna be keeping Chalavi Sral in three months and I'm not koshering the kitchen twice. <laughs> After I started keeping Shabbos, I went home for Thanksgiving break. I told my mother that I'm keeping Shabbos now. And she said, okay, so I'll keep Shabbos with you. It was just so special to have the support of both my parents and my family and my Safta all supporting me was already so incredible. The fact that I had my mother to keep Shabbos with was such a huge part of what made me who I am today. Actually, about a week and a half before my wedding, she started covering her hair.
Today, we are spending the year on Shlichus at the University of Kansas with Rabbi Zalman and Nechama Dina Tachtel. It's so special to see the impact that I'm able to have on the students here and the space to be able to connect with them in a way very similar to myself, they're also craving more. So powerful to see that through the same programs and through the same learning that I did, so many other students are getting so impacted as well. It's just been such an incredible experience to be here and have that experience and that learning. I'm just so grateful to have had such an amazing opportunity here. It's crazy to look back and think that that one Shabbos when I went to Chabad of Camarillo was what brought me to Sitin. The one Sitin kickoff event is what got me so excited. And through Sitin at the Sitin Leadership Retreat is when I met Rabbi Yassi and Manya Lazaroff. And that one leadership retreat is what got me involved in Chabad on campus, which ultimately transformed me my whole family, my whole life, because living a life today of shlichus came from that inspiration, the impact and the investment. The fact that they invested so much time and energy into making sure that my journey was balanced and, and special and deep and meaningful, how they gave so much to me, I would love to be able to give that to someone else.